Anthony, take us back. That last game with Rangers, it was a real body blow, the way in which they won it. How long did it take for you and the boys to get over that? Um, next day we was in. We had a meeting and we went through our rungs and we went through the things we done well in the game. Um, it did take a little while. It was a massive blow in the style we lost the game. I thought we done well to go ahead and was controlling the game for large periods and then two laps of concentrations and we lost the game 3-2 so it was devastating at the time but it's something that we do learn from. I always say you don't really learn from your wins all the time. Sometimes your losses where you take your biggest lessons from and that was definitely one. Just on a personal note, how big a day is it going to be for you, captain of this football club going out at, at this stadium, a packed stadium in a semi-final? Oh, it's going to be a great honour for myself, but ultimately I can't let the occasion override my feelings and the mood on the day, and I've got to stay focused and lead the boys as best I can. Is that something you've been relaying to the squad, just making sure that everyone's keeping a level head this week, no one's getting too excited or too ahead of themselves? To be fair, we've got a good bunch, so I don't have to go around and enforce that. We're quite focused and we understand the task that's ahead of us, and the gaffer's given us an objective, and hopefully we can go out and complete that task. How big an opportunity do you see this as a, a chance to you know, go one step forward and win a piece of silverware this season? Oh, winning silverware is what you set out to do as any professional, so the opportunity we have on Sunday is massive, but at the same time it's another opportunity for us to build confidence within the team and for us to understand that we're able to compete against the bigger sides in the league. You're the captain, you, you see these guys every day. Do you feel that this is a side that's, that's got a cup in them in that sense, that a, a, a cup could come this season? Definitely, definitely. We, we have got a young squad, but I don't feel like age plays a part in getting cups or not winning cups or not, so I just feel like it's the mentality and the better team on the day will win again. What was the reaction to the to the draw like when you found out that you were going to be playing Rangers in the semi? To be fair, boys was buzzing. Um, take it or not, we're, we're in the semi-finals, we expect to be playing one of Celtic or Rangers or any other teams in the league, so it was it was good that we got Rangers and there's a big rivalry between the fans, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Is this something you had in mind, you know, when you, when you looked into when Aberdeen's interest first took him apart, but did you look ahead to think this could be me, put a hand in one day, that's, that's one of the reasons why you signed? Yeah, for sure. I, d I wouldn't come here otherwise if it wasn't to play in the biggest stadiums and play in front of the biggest cars in the biggest games. So that's what you set out to achieve as a player. Just finally, uh, as captain of the club, there's, a, there's always an expectation with Aberdeen to, to win silver well, given the size of the club. What's mm -hmm. your understanding of that expectation? What fans demand season in season? Um, from what the club has achieved previously, there is definitely a high expectation. And as players, it's down to us to rise to that expectation and try and achieve the things that the fans want and the club has achieved in the past so I wouldn't say the expectation is anything bad. I think it's a positive thing and as players we've got to rise to it. Have you played Rangers twice this season, the, the game at Ibrox, like Antonio Kolak started against Epitogic and Alfredo Morelos, both very good strikers. How did you find them to, to play against and what kind of differences in their game? Um, for me they're two complete different strikers. Um, I do rate one better than the other. But personally, they're both <laughs> as. Uh, hey? <laughs> I would say I prefer. I would put Colux a better striker than Morelis, in my opinion. <laughs> Just the whole all-round game, I've played against both of them, and I kind of kind of give my opinion on that.